Hello viewers, we'll be going over the S&P 500 ETF ticker symbol SPY. In this video, we'll be going over the day-by-day -day probability model, the technical performance of each model, how we find the models, comparing the current trend with the trend in the past, and we'll go over the day-by-day -day forecast for the S&P 500. So let's start off with the technical analysis. The S&P 500 is currently down 56 basis points on the one hour chart. We are starting to approach to negative MACD and if we expand out further onto the 4-hour chart, we are also starting to see a divergence on the 4-hour MACD. And we are most likely see reversal to head lower lows. And if we expand out further onto the daily chart, we are starting, we saw a divergence back in June 11th, and we have not made any signs of a convergence on the MACD. And we also see a divergence on the 9-day moving average onto the 18-day moving average, the blue and purple line respectively. So if we do manage to close below the 18-day moving average, we may see a possible support. Where we left off back, back in June 15, we made a temporary support around the 200-day moving average, this green line. And that price is around $301.16. So we'll mark that as our first immediate support. And as for resistance, if we do manage to reverse higher, the next resistance level will be where we made a gap down between June 10th to June 11th at around a price of $318.69. So if we do manage to reverse higher to hit that resistance level, that price movement to the upside is roughly around 3%. And to hit support to the downside, that is roughly around 2.3%. So now let's examine the day-by-day -day probability model. Again, these models are now available in the link below, so do check it out. So as we progress to the seventh day, we have a 37% chance for the S&P 500 to climb between 0 to 2.6%. And on the extreme case to the upside, we have a 50% chance for the S&P 500 to climb between 2.6% to 5%. And to the downside, we have a 12% chance for the S&P 500 to fall between 0 to negative 2.6%. So now let's examine the day-by-day -day forecast for the S&P 500. So as we progress to the one day, that will be a Monday, and two days out will be a Tuesday, and so on. So we have three days out, four days out, five days out, six days out, and seven days out. So which one of these models we should focus on? Ideally, the model that is best matched to the current trend. We have our current trend as our blue line and overlapping it happens to be the best match. And right here we have our current trend and below is a trend that we found on the line graph. And this trend dates back to March 5th to May 30th, 2003. So let's begin comparing the both trends. So we start off at the bottom Bollinger Band on the current trend. We proceeded to touch the upper band, revert back to the middle Bollinger Band, once more touch the middle band again. And then we average above the middle Bollinger Band. And then finally, to, towards the end, we touch the middle Bollinger Band. And now let's examine the trend in question. We start off at the bottom Bollinger Band, proceed to touch the upper band. And then twice we touch the middle Bollinger Band. And then we average above the middle Bollinger Band. Once more, we revert back to the mean to the middle band. So what we have here is one, two, three, four, five, six points. And we also have one, two, three, four, five, six points on the current trend. So there's reason to believe that the trends and patterns are the same. The outcome and forecast should be fairly same. And the model that we just examined was back in March 5th to May 30th, 2003. Back then, the S&P 500 was up around 2.3%. So now let's examine the day-by-day -day probability model. So the S&P 500 up 2%, 2.3%, that coincides with this standard deviation of 37% between 0 to 2.6% in the next coming days. So now let's examine closer on the technical performance of each trend. So on the current trend that we're in, we're currently down 3.6% from monthly high, up 21% from monthly low, down 12 basis points from 10 simple moving average, up 87 basis points from 20 day simple moving average and up 6% on 50 day simple moving average. And now we examine the trend that we just found. Back then it was only up 0% from monthly high, 
up 70% from length below, up 3% from 10 simple moving average, up 3% from 10, 20 day simple moving average, and up 6.6% from 50 day simple moving average. So there are technical differences among the two trends. One is a monthly high and also the 10 simple moving averages. Back then it was up 3%, compare that to the current trend that we're in, we're down 12 basis points. So do keep that in mind. So again, these models are now available in the link below, so do check it out. If you enjoy this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.